Hey YouTube, this is Alexander, and today I'll be showing you what's new in the second Android M developer preview. So let's go ahead and take a look. So first and foremost, and perhaps the most noticeable change is the app drawer. Gone are those ugly letters that divided up the apps into their respective sections. They've been replaced by this new cleaner, still vertical scrolling app drawer. It looks much cleaner and still has a fast scroll bar on the right side if needed, which is a much better way to handle it. Although I do miss the card style on Lollipop, vertical scrolling does feel more natural. You've also still got this search bar up top and your four most recently used apps above the rest, but this can now be disabled from within the Google Now Launcher settings, but does require a reboot at this time. Hopefully this is just a small bug that's fixed in the future. You can now also allow home screen rotation, which looks kind of weird on phones for me, but it is there. Oh, and we've also got this fairly basic opt-in screen for Google Now on tap, which looks to be just a placeholder for now since it still isn't working. Anyway, if we head into the settings, we'll notice a few changes to a couple of these sections. Storage is now storage and USB and the UI has gotten a makeover. It looks much cleaner and more organized. There is also this explore section which will take you to the built-in Android file manager. Heading down a bit further, we can see the new option for memory, which brings us to an area where we can view and monitor which apps are eating our RAM by different time intervals. It's much more useful now that it isn't shoved deep into the apps section of the settings. Now inside the system UI tuner, which is something that I didn't mention in my first Android M video, we have a few more options, which are actually really helpful. Firstly, we have the option to move around the quick toggles, which was here in the first Android M developer preview, but it doesn't seem as buggy and actually works properly this time around. Additionally, we have a new status bar section which allows us to disable status bar icons to clean up that area a bit. This is something I particularly enjoy because I would like the least amount of icons there as possible and this gives me the control to do so to some extent. I just hope this isn't gone by the final build. And lastly, we can finally enable a battery percentage in the battery icon. I've been waiting for this to come to stock Android for some time and I know there was an app that enabled it but there's nothing like having it baked into the OS. We also have this demo mode which seems to hint at what version Android M might be or maybe Google's just trolling us, who knows. Oh, and lastly, we can now delete screenshots from the notification area, which is super useful. And unfortunately, the dark settings theme has been removed, but hopefully it makes a return for the final build. Anyway, that's pretty much going to end it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe down there for more videos from me, and don't forget to follow me on Google+, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Periscope, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.